NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're ready to go, off to the first hole. Getting ready to get the tournament started. Frank, first tee jitters? Oh, everybody gets them. That's the beauty of it. If you don't, you shouldn't be playing this game. Just try and think nice and slow. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Just a bit offline and into the bunker. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Settles in over the putt. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Back to the action here at the second. It's a par three. Demanding hole, Frank, isn't it? Longest par three on the golf course. Slightly downhill, but you need every advantage here. It requires your best. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot. Frank, when I think of the great bunker players in the history of the sport, I think about Gary Player, Seve Ballesteros, whom you knew so well. What did they do that made them so effective on these greenside bunker shots? They had an attitude for a start that was different. For them, it was, they saw possibilities. And uh, they, they would imagine the amount of sand. Remember, because this is the only shot in golf where you don't have to hit the ball first. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. Aim the club at that and made sure they followed through. Now at the par four third, Frank, this is a great golf hole. It certainly is. Remember, the brain doesn't re register don'ts. So aim right, there's a bunker down there. Keep focusing on where you want it to go, not in the other direction. So Frank, a perfect lie right here. And now this gives him a chance to take the next step, which is get after this whole location. Yeah, so many more options now. And basically, it's just gonna come down to club selection now. This is absolutely perfect. This is one where he can get a reward from. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. And so just getting started, even par so far. 
And now let's go down to the action at the fourth. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, Frank, what's the key to generating some momentum? Just hitting good shots. I know it sort of sounds like the old cliche, but uh, plenty of opportunities. A few 10, 15 foot putts start going down. This round will change dramatically. And from the fairway for his second shot here. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. This is a good looking shot. Didn't knock down the flag stick, but he still has a chance. 21 steps, or should I say feet? Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. 